And it was at this very moment <laughs> that our destiny was decided for us. Hey, we're Michael and Abby. Welcome back to another travel vlog. In this series, we're on a mission to discover just how spectacular the fall colors are in Colorado. We'll be road tripping through some of the state's most scenic spots, capturing the essence of a Colorado fall. In the previous vlog, we were at Garden of the Gods and out of breath at Pikes Peak. But in this video, we leave Colorado Springs and head to Montrose, Colorado, but not before stopping to see the largest sand dunes in the United States. Which, when I first read that, I was like, that doesn't seem right. But when you get here, they are very, very tall. Well, we are starting our day off heading to Great Sand Dunes National Park. Hashtag but first coffee. Right, we are at Dutch Brothers and it's a little drive through coffee shop right here. And they don't take cash because, believe it or not, there's a coin shortage. Can you believe that? All right, what are you gonna get? Black coffee. They were so nice. That was the nicest Colorado hospitality I've ever seen. We like, got- As we waited, they just like talked about like, oh, you should do this yes. and this and this and- Oh my Lord and, okay. This was tree fitty. I got a large cold brew and Abby got a large espresso. Like, what? I mean, tree fitty? I know. Oh, uh, it must be a Colorado thing because South Park. I'm gonna need about tree fitty. I need about tree fitty. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> so, um, yeah. and I had the opportunity to have my cold brew toasted. And I said, uh, no, I want it cold. She's like, oh no, you can get it toasted. And I was like, what? Blew yes. our minds. Uh, I was, yes. How's your first sip? I haven't even tried it yet. These cups are cute. I know. Just <gasps> Let me see. the air is hot. I'm so scared. We are going to hit the road now and head to Great Sand Dunes. We'll see you there or we'll see you on another time. Just for some perspective on how far up we drove yesterday, this the very, very, tip very, of very tip of that. You can, I mean, from like actual seeing it here, you can see that um, the little building that we split in up there. Tread soft and light, leave no path among pines. Greet the morning as it comes. So clear and bright, all the melodies reside in the rising of the sun. We are in the Great Sand Dunes. We are about to walk through a walkway, obviously, and be in the dunes. Come. seen them what like seven miles out yeah more than that maybe um yeah that's pretty wild you know i honestly thought it was gonna be hot yeah but it's kind of cold well you know what they say sometimes it's cold in the sand i've never heard that i'm sure someone said it though i just did frolic <laughs> frolic into the dunes grandma even doing at the sand dunes what the flip was grandma doing at the sand dunes she was having fun she was no it's really cool it's so weird though like it yep. seems like it's like in the wrong place but yeah. it's it's really cool because we're surrounded by mountains right now so, so hit them with some fun facts <sighs> uh 
Hold on, I gotta butt, I gotta. <laughs> so I haven't hit him with some. What the hell? Why don't I hit you with some fun facts? You got a lot of them. One fact is that these are actually the tallest sand dunes in North America, yep. which when I first read that, I was like, that doesn't seem right. But when you get here, they are very, very tall. There's also, which are like surrounded around the dunes, these trees called the... Ponderosa pines. Yes, ponderosa pines. It's easy to remember because ponderosa is a buffet that no longer exists. <laughs> But, I mean, it's not really easy to remember, but. but the the bark on the tree, the Native Americans would peel off the bark and use it for food and medicine. Uh -huh. And if you smell the bark, it smells like vanilla. Did somebody write a song about this place? Oh yeah, uh, Bing Crosby actually wrote. He a tap danced with Danny F and K too. <laughs> well, he did that too. Bing Crosby tap danced with Danny K. Oh, what was it? Something about they said it was like a love song about the. Oh, sand because dunes. the sand dunes, you can hear them when there's an avalanche of sand. Yeah. The it, dunes whisper and you can like, hear it. It like kind of hums like it's singing to you. Listen to this. Yo. And Bing Crosby came out here and sat through an avalanche and wrote a song. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. No, that's very cool. Yeah, very cool information. There's a lot of people, um, you could snowboard out here. You could rent snowboards. Yeah, you get a lot of sand Yeah, they everywhere. said be prepared to take sand home with you. And we got a five hour drive left after this, so... So I don't want to take any home. No, I wouldn't mind shredding some nar, nar though. But now we're off to Telluride. And it was at this very moment <laughs> that our destiny was decided for us. We found our third golden retriever. We said the if we saw one. we said if we saw three golden retrievers on this trip, we would put our deposit down on one. Guess what we're doing when we're getting home. There's the golden right over there. Aww. Because of that, that moment, Huckleberry came into our lives. They're harvesting potatoes. Those are probably our, uh, our beat ups. Buffalo chips. Buffalo chips. Rami and Mike would be really proud of us yeah, for stopping to we, get some. We pulled over to get it. We turn around actually to get a picture of them harvesting potatoes right now. And I will send him this footage and um, I hope to be tagged and I hope to gain some followers. Get some brownie points. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about being kind of in the middle of nowhere when we're on these road trips, we can't always guarantee we're going to have um, places to eat lunch. So, Here's our lunch. <laughs> a nice and nutritious lunch. I wish I could really sum up what I'm seeing here. This is like, we're just surrounded by these mountains and it's just unbelievable in this valley. It probably doesn't look even like anything on camera, but it's just seriously crazy. Leave no path among the pines. Greet the morning as it comes. So clear and bright, all the melodies reside in the rising of the sun. Run. I know that that clip doesn't do any of those justice, but I think it's called Gunnison County that we're in. But it is like just unbelievable the way the in sun is hitting. Miles. Keep left. Keep but yeah, it's just unbelievable how the sun is hitting like these. I mean, it's like we're in a valley and the pastures and just the way that it's, it's just crazy. There's beef cattle and I just can't get, I don't know. Like I don't even know how to explain how actually like beautiful it is. Is it not? He literally is at a loss for words. Like the whole entire time he just keeps talking about like, like look like, he, yeah, he's in love with it right now, which it's beautiful. I want to like get some pictures, but like, I could, I could take so many pictures and it probably wouldn't even do the justice that it is. It just... It just, it feels very tranquil. Like, tranquil. Like just the, the glow of the sun and just the peacefulness of just the, not the prairie, but just like the field. Yeah, everything about it is very just peaceful and right.
We made it right at the buzzer. We got here a lot later than we expected, but we are at Horsefly Brewing Company. We passed it on the way to our hotel. It looked really good. We called them. They said they closed at 8 or 8.30. They weren't sure. <laughs> so it was like 8.15 and we just hauled ass here and we made it. But I got the uh, Southwest Burger Tots. I got the French chip. French With the dip. au jus. Ooh, au jus. Yeah, this place looks so neat. It's really cool. And I had a sample of a six shooter. Yeah, it was pretty good. I mainly did it just so I could check it down on Untapped. They're bringing my ranch. Appreciate it. Yeah. That'll do it for today. But I just want to say that that drive from Colorado Springs to Great Sand Dunes to Montrose, where we're at right now, was incredible. It might have been the prettiest drive ever we've ever done. Maybe it's because the, the leaves were just really just fiery and blue, like changing colors. It was awesome. But that'll do it for today. Uh, hit that like, hit that thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one. Latest on the Minja. <laughs> Mm hmm. Really? Did that mess up everything? Well, look. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We'd really appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. And we will see you on the next video.